Welcome everybody, and this is the second installment on getting custom or KDE customized for your own preference. Okay, so for this I've put in back the original Kickstart app, uh, which is this little K in the corner. So you click on that, and it pops down, and this this is what the original one looks like that comes ships with Manjaro, and it has uh, all the links in it. Uh, as far as what what you do, and you know, for what the name of them are and categories and applications, also has a computer for the common ones, uh, including settings. Uh, you know, recently used for anything that you've done lately. Uh, links to websites as well as to different apps that you've run, and then of course leave for log out, lock, switch, or the any of the shutdown or sleep states. Okay, so that's what we're going to be using for this episode. Uh, what I want to do in this episode is show you how I got this, you know, the wallpaper set up so that when I switch desktops, it switches wallpaper as well. And there are a lot of different mods and stuff you can do that with, um, but in this case, we're just going to use the native settings. So this little icon up here is my settings, or you can click on the K, and you can go to system settings under favorites. That's one of the defaults, so we're going to do that because most people will probably use that one. All right, so what we want to do is go to Workspace Behavior in the System Settings. So we're going to open this up. Now in this, we've got several options, Activities, Virtual Desktops, Screen Edges, and Workspace. We want to be in Virtual Desktops. So under Virtual Desktops, you set the number of desktops that you want, and you can go up to 12. Um, I have mine set at 4, obviously. Number of rows. You put, you know, how many you want in a, each block. Uh, so this is if you're showing it up on this space here, which I'm not. I'm using the Kali desktop, or the Kali, um, sorry, the Kali launcher. Um, <clears throat> pardon me, or dock, Kali dock, sorry. That's what it's called. So I'm using that down here. Uh, so I use the Kali desktop switcher as well, because that's part of the Kali dock. So, but normally... There's one up here that you can install. In fact, that, that can be set up anytime you want. Uh, just by either, um, you want to either click and use panel options and you can use the add widgets, or you can click on this little kind of teardrop, curled, curled half moon shape here. And then from here, click add widgets. But that's for another episode, so we're not going to go into that one right now. Um, let's go ahead and close that up. All right, so going back to how to get different desktops or different pictures on different desktop wallpapers. By default, this this option right here is not checked, which says different widgets for each desktop. You need to put a check mark in that box, and then once you do that, you click apply, and you're done. Okay, then you go and you can close that, and then you can go to each desktop, and if you want a different one like this one, if I want to change this desktop, I right click, and I can choose de uh, default desktop settings, and that tells me, shows me, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, options of what I can set up for my desktop. And please forgive my voice right now. I've I've got a cold I'm dealing with, so it's uh, my voice is kind of all over the place right now. <clears throat> all right. So anyway, um, going back to this, you can choose each desktop or any desktop you want. So let's let's do the city nights. That one looks kind of cool. All right, so this is one of the, the pictures that comes with it, one of the desktops that comes with it. So I'm going to just go ahead and grab that and choose Apply. You can also just double-click them. So now I've got this desktop or this backdrop only on this desktop. If I go to switch my desktops, I still have the ones I originally had. Okay, so that keeps everything different, you know, very... Very fine. So let's go over to desktop three, which which the chess piece. That's kind of my gaming desktop. That's why I put the chess there. Uh, so we're going to do it again here. So you right click, choose default desktop settings, and then we're going to choose just any one you, you find one you like. And when you get there, let's uh, let's go back to another one of the other Manjaro ones. It looks really nice. I've got several of the Manjaro themed desktops that, that turned out very very nice in here. There's the Panther one again, which I do like. Um, let's do the Matrix looking. Okay, so we got that in there. Oh, sorry, you can't double click alone. So yeah, you hit Apply or OK, and there we go. 
So now that one's desktop three, and I go back to the cityscape, and that's my desktop one. So it saves those individually, but as you notice, this these little um, performance meters I have on this page are not on every page. That's because those are desktop widgets. You know, and they're even different here because this one right here is its own widget. Go back over here to these and there are multiple widgets. Well, these are, these are all customizable for each individual desktop space. And that's what you want to have. Um, that, that, that's what that option enables. Uh, now the, the dock, the Kali dock that I'm using shows up on every page because it has an option to tell it to do so. You can tell it to only be on one page if you want and then ignore it on all the rest. Okay, but that's all, all you need to do and that'll get you going. So I'm going to put this up as a, a short, you know, just short tutorial and thank you much for watching. And if you like it, please click the like button and comment if you have any anything you want to see specific or any advice on it uh, that you want to add. Anyway, uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'm going to be drilling down in future episodes for more. Until then, stay awesome, and I'll catch you later.